Hi, you guys. <laughs> okay, listen. Listen. My room is a mess. Uh, I've been traveling. So um, I got stuff thrown everywhere. But I had to rush in the house. To do this video okay so listen i know i've been a little bit mi missing in action but i am here i am here today yes so you know the first thing you gotta do before we even get started in this conversation is like subscribe and share you heard what i said right you gotta like subscribe and share now listen girl listen 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 linda just because you subscribe you're not getting a subscription. Nobody's ringing up your credit card. Your man is not going to get mad at you. Okay? Just press the button and subscribe. And tell your friends. Like, subscribe, share. <laughs> so, I've been a little bit missing in action. I have had a lot of stuff going on lately. Traveling and just doing just <laughs> everything. Being a mom, restructuring my whole life. So, that's just a whole lot within its own self, okay? And I just walked in my house and been in here in a couple of weeks. And my smoke detective is doing like a little beep, beep, beep. And that is so annoying. So, I've got, as soon as we finish this video, I got to go get that fixed. Because that's just, I can't even take a beep, beep, beep all night long. So, um... Kiki Palmer and the baby daddy. Kiki Palmer and the baby daddy. Somebody put me up on what is really going down. So for a minute, they seemed like they were happy when they came out. And uh, they're having a baby. Then they have their little beautiful son. And then all of a sudden, you know, a lot of things are happening. See, this right here, you never know what's going on behind the scene. That's what you don't know. You never know what's going on behind the scene, okay? No matter how great things look, and no matter how people are like, oh my God, I love you, and we're posting each other, you just never know. You just never know. Ladies, take notes. You just never know. You don't know what's happening inside a people relationship. And look, all of a sudden, there's videos flying around. Then there's a voice memo of he recorded the mom saying she was going to shoot him. And God, it is a lot. It is a lot. So I'm just saying, you never know what goes on inside of people's relationship, right? You never know. People look great on the outside. So see, this is why I never desire someone else's life. You know how you hear people be like, wow, they so lucky. I wish I had that life. Oh, wow, I wish I had met him or met her first. See, I never do that. I never do that. You look at them and be like, wow, okay. He looks great. And they look like they're happy together. But I'm never like, wow, I want their life. Before you know, he pee in the bed, girl. <laughs> I mean... You don't want that, do you? So why would you desire him? You don't know if he pee in the bed. I mean, you see what I'm saying? He might pee in the bed. So no, he is not the one. But it's kind of shocking. You know, I, I don't know Kiki personally like that. But she and I both worked on Broadway together. I was the wicked stepmom in Cinderella. And she was Cinderella. And uh, so we worked together on Broadway in New York City. Um, her mom was always there. Uh, we had a show every single night. Um, I think it was one night a week that we didn't have a show. And on Sundays, we ended early. We had one show. Um, but uh, we have a, a great experience together. She was a great actress. And I really hate that this is happening to her because abuse is never, ever, ever okay. Okay? Yeah, so, and then, since I've been going, you know, I've been scrolling up and down social media, and I saw where everybody is saying things like, Nelly and Ashanti is back together. Yes, Nelly and Ashanti! I love them together. They look so beautiful, and Ashanti is so gorgeous, and, um, you know, when they were together back in the day, all of us really loved them, and we crushed on their whole relationship, 
And people are saying things like he needs to make sure he get her pregnant and they need to make sure they get married this time around. Like marry her, she's a good woman. And uh, people are giving them a hard time about it. And you know, my whole thoughts are like, hmm. Everybody doesn't want to be married. Now, if you had asked me this question 10 years ago, I would have said something different. But today, my thoughts are, maybe marriage isn't the answer. Maybe a life partner is the answer. Maybe they're having fun and they really like each other, but maybe she doesn't see the husband in him. Maybe he doesn't see the wife in her, but they see each other as life partners and they have fun together. And I mean, I don't know. I just know that you don't have to really put a label on the relationship. That's where I'm at right now in my life. You don't have to put a real label on the relationship for the relationship to work. I think that maybe she doesn't want kids. I mean, everybody doesn't want kids. And maybe he doesn't want to have any kids. I mean, I don't know. But I feel like they look super cute together. And I feel like they should take their time and do whatever makes them feel good together. So I'm excited seeing them together. Hey, Shanti, Ashanti, and Nelly. Hey, I'm happy for you guys. I hope you guys, you know, do whatever makes you feel good. Take your time. There's no rush. You can have children. You cannot have children. You can get married. You cannot get married. Do whatever you feel like you want to do. Do not let this internet and all of these different opinions change how you guys feel about each other. Keep going, girl, because I love seeing y'all together. Y'all look like y'all are having fun. And you know when you get in a relationship in the beginning, the, the beginning is so fun. And I personally don't want to be in a relationship where I'm not having fun. When I stop having fun, that's when the relationship is no longer serving you and you probably need to Stop being in the relationship. And a lot of people just continue and continue and continue and have a hard time getting out of the relationship. I'm at fault too. I do stuff like that myself because I always feel like for me, myself, I'm just speaking for me, like I am not, I, I would have felt this way years ago. Now I'm learning to think differently. I am not a girlfriend. I am a wife. Like, that's what I do. And if I really meet the man that's for me and that really wants me and keeps me out of my masculine energy, he can get all of me. He can get all of me. I'm, I'm ready to do whatever it is that he wants to do. You know, if he wants me to cook, clean, have sex, travel, you know, I'm, he can get all of me. But I feel like they can't get all of you if you got to constantly stay in your masculine energy all the time and they're not making you feel great because, you know, society says that men are the leaders. So if the men are the leaders, then lead me, honey, into the right direction. Don't lead me into a direction that you know is not going to be good for me or good for you. Make me feel comfortable. Make me feel secure. So that's how I think about it. Now, again, 10 years ago, I would have thought something totally different. But today, I feel like, yeah, I'm cool with that. Make me feel good now. And uh, we can figure out the other stuff later. Well, anyway, my friend Shannon Sharp. Hey, Shannon. <laughs> so I've been seeing a lot of people. I, well, at least I've been seeing Chad trying to hook him up with different women. And uh, because he's supposedly single. Oh, uh, Boy, you're a catch, boy. Yeah. And I'm going to find somebody for you. Before we get to December, I'm going to find you a, a good woman. And uh, one of the people named they have jumped up was Kim Kardashian. And I think Shannon said, nah, I don't think I want to date uh, Kim Kardashian at all. And I kind of see where he's at. I kind of understand where he, what he feels. You know, when you start dating people who are public figures, a lot comes with being a public figure. I mean, his whole life, not that he's not already a public figure and his life is not already out there for people to dig into, but imagine dating Kim. I feel like your life is going to be elevated to the 10th power or even higher. And 
now there's a real spotlight shined on you and um, I just think it'll change everything about how people view him and it won't be good for him so I don't see Kim for him either now my question to Shannon would be and I need to do this when I see him is you know so Shannon do you like black girls or do you like white girls because I know at one point you was really feeling the white girls and maybe not feeling the black girls as much or maybe you were feeling both but you just kind of really connected with the white girls like I'm not exactly sure so let me know what you want honey I might hook you up with somebody <laughs> I don't know. I might could like, link you up with somebody that's out here trying to do, you know, be your wife or something. I don't think Shannon's trying to get married or anything like that. I feel like he's enjoying his life. He's having a good time right now. Um, I had a girlfriend that called me and she was like, Have you been watching Basketball Wives? And I was like, No. I haven't watched Basketball Wives since Basketball Wives was basketball wives i haven't seen it in forever and they were like oh that girl this season they are going there they are really doing evelyn is back hello sagittarius evelyn and of course jen is there and of course jackie is there but um i haven't seen the show in forever but if you haven't seen it i know a few of the girls hey Brooke, girl so I know a few of the girls, uh, if you haven't seen it, run on over there and watch it. I don't know what's going on with it, but what I do know, a few seasons ago, I stopped watching it because it had just became really stale. And to me, it was like certain people couldn't talk to other people. You couldn't attack the other people. I don't mean attack, like, I guess the better word would be you couldn't confront them. If they were saying something, you couldn't confront them because they were more in control of the show. And I never liked that. I feel like when you're on these reality show everybody can get it if they need to get it it shouldn't be one particular person that you can't go after because i mean they may have more power or more clout or they feel people the viewers feel like they're bigger stars i feel like you should be able to talk to anybody you want to talk to. If anybody is attacking you, you should be able to attack them. Now, I like to call this my soft era. Okay, so, you know, I'm, I'm getting all of the comments and all the emails because I'm always saying email me at booknini at gmail.com. So, Tamar Braxton, you know, she's a friend of mine. Uh, we've had our highs and we've had our lows. Um, I went to her concert here in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, shall listen. Tamar can sing. This girl has a throat out of this world. She can blow. You can't take none of that from her. She can blow. This girl can sing. Okay, so people are talking about her and Krishan. I don't know Krishan. I do know Tamar and I do know James Wright. I did attend the show in Atlanta. Um, I don't have a real comment on it. I really don't. And the reason why I don't is because I wasn't there. Um, I don't know what happened. Um, all I know is that Tamar can sing and she has a great show. So I think the show is just about done. Uh, there may be a second leg. There may not be. Uh, if there is a second leg, you should go out and check out the show. It's a great show. The girl can sing her tail off. So go out and support. I don't know Krishan, so I honestly can't comment on it. Um, I was a young mom just like... Um, Krishan, with my oldest son, I have two sons. My oldest son, I was like, Krishan, I might have been, I think, younger than Krishan. I think, I, I don't really even know how she is. Oh, she is. I was 20 years old and I turned 21 um, just maybe two weeks before giving birth. And um, there is no handbook to being a mom. Uh, being a mom is very difficult. I always, always, go back and think what could I have done differently you know I want to be the best mom that I can be I was a working mom I'm still a working mom and um I can't judge the situation one way or the other um 
you know, in families, you have a lot of issues growing up, a lot of traumas, and I, I can't judge the situation. I honestly can't. I don't know her, and I know Tamar can sing. So if she's back out there on the road for a second leg of her tour, check it out if you can. And uh, I wish them all the luck in the world. Um, and I wish Krishan all the luck in the world as a mom. And uh, so hopefully, you know, everything works out for everybody involved. I'm so sorry this happened to James. He's been to my lounge here in Atlanta, Georgia. He sang in my lounge. He's a great vocalist. I don't know. I wasn't behind the scenes, but I wish all of them well. And I hope that they are able to come to some resolve. Um, you know, that's really all I can say about the whole situation. So my weekend, mm-hmm. We had Ladies of Success in Miami, Florida. Now, if you miss Ladies of Success, ladies, if entrepreneurs from around the world all coming together to form friendships, travel together, learn to increase their bottom line, and it's, 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 it's an amazing organization. And... Uh, if you haven't joined, or if you have a friend or a woman that you know that is an entrepreneur, a businesswoman, it doesn't matter what kind of business she's in, she has to make at least $350,000 or more to join this organization. Now, I say $350,000. My board leaders, they all are probably watching this and gonna be like, who told you $350,000? They need to make a half a million dollars a year to be a part of this organization. So I'm giving you a cute little window, $350,000 to $500,000 a year to be a part of Ladies of Success. Go and check out our Instagram page, Ladies of Success on Instagram. You can send me an email, bookmini at gmail.com. Tell me about your life. Uh, send me a headshot. You know, if you're married, do you have children? What do you do for a living? Why do you want to join this organization? Do you love to travel? All those kind of things. Give me a cute little snapshot and I will forward it over to the board. They will make the final decisions, but we would love to have you. So we had our meetup uh, in Miami, Florida. Now we do meet several times a year. We meet in Vegas, we meet in Miami, Florida, and then we choose two other places to go, whether it's domestic or international. And uh, we have a great time. Um, we have a welcome dinner that was amazing. Um, from the welcome dinner, we had lunch in Miami at the Bar Harbor at a place called Carpaccio's, a place I really enjoy going to. Uh, we went to a drag show out on South Beach called The Palace, which I love going to the drag show called The Palace. Yes! They just be turning up and having a great time. Um, when I'm in uh, Miami, I love having brunch at the Satan. Now listen, none of these places paid me a dime. I'm just telling you what I like to go and what I like to do. Um, over at the Satai, they have a great brunch. Um, it's amazing. And the thing that tops it off for everybody, the number one thing is called Pillow Talk. And it went down on a Sunday night. And let me tell you something. This Pillow Talk is incredible. It's incredible. Before the cameras start rolling, and we do have a few cameras around, we don't have to always have them on. Before we turned the cameras on, there was a whole blow up between two women that had two different opinions. Now listen, when you come to Pillow Talk, this is about love, this is talking about relationships, this is talking about entrepreneurship, this is talking about any politics, this is talking about money, this is talking about anything that we want to talk about. There is no question that is off limit and everybody can have an opinion, right? And your opinion, you can be heard in this room, right? But the rule is to respect other people's opinion. So we had two ladies that kind of didn't, um, click. They didn't, um, what's the better word? They didn't get each other opinions. And so they had a bit of a disagreement. There was tears. Uh, it, 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 it was just fantastic. Once the cameras started rolling, we had all sorts of conversations that were just absolutely 
amazing. Um, things like we had one woman to say she was married for years, had children with her husband, and he left her for a man. Girl, he left her for a man. Now, we don't normally have men in the room. However, we did have some gay guys in the room at this particular pillow talk, and they educated us on gays that are called the trade. I had never heard of that word before. Uh, so th th you you just learn a lot. Uh, we had women that were talking about, you know, just, I don't know, their friendships and how their friendships fell apart and just just all kind of things, how they started. One woman started a business, had been in business for years and she lost everything, went to being completely homeless, living in a car, to being a multi, multi, multi millionaire and standing in the room of ladies of success. Um, the stories go on and on and on. So what we decided to do was this pillow talk was so entertaining. Uh, it's going to take us a minute to edit this video and get it up for you. But you guys be on the lookout for Ladies of Success pillow talk video that I will put up real soon. Also, I want to do pillow talk as a tour. So I want to go, you know, other states. Uh, my birthday's coming up. Yay. And uh, I would love to have maybe a pillow talk for my birthday. I don't know, but we're going to tour. Um, there's a dress code. Uh, you know, I love Houston. So I'm thinking about Houston. I'm thinking about Vegas. You know, those are places that I really love. I would love to hit some of those places. I'm thinking about Alabama being one of the places we hit real soon, North Carolina. I just don't know what part of North Carolina we're gonna hit. I like Mississippi. We may hit Mississippi really soon. Philadelphia, we're thinking about hitting you guys really soon. So we've been throwing around a lot of cities. You know, uh, Dallas, Texas also, I don't wanna forget to say you guys. Um, so we have a lot of cities that we want to jump into and do the pillow talk. So I need women from those different places to reach out to me because we need socialites, big socialites in those cities to join forces with me as I come into your city and host a pillow talk and maybe amazing dinner before the pillow talk. Um, we really want to do it and we want to connect with women all around the world. Now, this is more, the pillow talks are a place where you can connect with other women. There are a lot of you guys who you're living in your city. You may not have a circle of girlfriends. There may be other business women in your city and you don't even know them and what they do for a living. Uh, listen, we need uh, decorators because when, obviously when we do pillow talk, we want it to be beautiful. We want it to look girly. Uh, so is there some you know, decorators that would love to event people that can come and put it together or find us a small spaces to do it in. We'd love for it to be intimate. Uh, we would love to do a dinner prior to, maybe the day before. I call it the Connect Dinner, where women are connecting with each other in your city. And I'm just putting you guys together. Uh, send me an email to booknini at gmail.com. I would love to do this in your city. Um, and uh, I want you guys to don't forget to look out for the Ladies of Success Pillow Talk video. And if you haven't joined Ladies of Success, please go and do that as well. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in to this Pillow Talk video. I love you guys. Thank you guys for waiting on me. Child, I've been doing this, that, and the third. But uh, we're going to keep these videos going. I love you guys. Look over my bed. Everything is kind of crazy right now but i love you guys don't forget to like subscribe and share Mwah. send me an email now send me an email don't forget i love you guys Mwah. talk soon <laughs>